1982, a defining moment in Canadian history. Repatriating the Constitution from Britain and enshrining the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and with it, legal protections for all Canadians. The Canadian Charter of Rights, which for the first time give all of us an identity rooted in the Constitution that no government can destroy. In those 40 years, Canadians have used the Charter to challenge legislation, and the Supreme Court has ruled on everything from abortion rights to religious freedoms to hate speech. Senator Mary Lou McFedrin, a lawyer, worked on protections for women in the Charter. This is an essential part of our country, of this constitutional democracy. But McFedrin and other human rights advocates in a virtual presentation said the Charter remains a work in progress. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms is a strong promise, but it's an unfulfilled promise. Indigenous Canadians and racialized communities were given little consideration 40 years ago. There were groups of Canadians today who, were, who did not have a voice when these were put together. I believe the time has come to reevaluate the Charter of Rights. Today, Charter rights are still being debated. <laughs> The rights of the Freedom Convoy to assemble in Ottawa became an angry confrontation, ended by the government's emergency measures, a recognition that rights under the Charter can be limited. And the rights of many Quebecers to wear religious symbols have been blocked by the province's secularism law. That's expected to be challenged before the Supreme Court. The existence of the Charter is no guarantee that the rights of Canadians are protected. So that to keep these rights, we need to stand up in defense of them anytime they are threatened. But in spite of some disenchantment with the Charter, Canada's constitution is among the most admired in the world, says this constitutional expert. Yeah, the constitution of Canada has influenced the design of the South African Bill of Rights, the Israeli Basic Laws, the New Zealand Bill of Rights. Canada has become a model for the promise and possibilities of constitutionalism in the democratic world. Senator McFedrin pointed to the invasion of Ukraine and the war crimes that are occurring there to remind Canadians how precious our rights are and how important it is to protect and fight for those rights. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.